and a distant sun will tell you about the newly discovered star that dates back to almost the dawn of time. Right, let's turn to a new record for capturing a picture of a single distant star. Tim Ullman reports uh, the light from the giant sun has taken nearly 13 billion years to read us back to the Big Bang. Let's watch. For more than 30 years, the Hubble Space Telescope has been orbiting the Earth, scanning the cosmos, looking for the unknown, the extraordinary, the seemingly impossible. Its latest discovery, perhaps its most amazing yet, a celestial object that is a long, long, long way away. You see that red stripe in the centre of the screen? It's a crescent of light that's been dubbed the Sunrise Arc. Almost hidden away inside it, barely a smudge, is a star. The most distant star we've ever seen. They called it Arundel, Old English for Morning Star, and it came into creation less than a billion years after the Big Bang. The Hubble can see that far back in distance, and so it's seeing the light that is basically being uh, emitted right now by that star, whereas the light that we're seeing here on Earth uh, was created 12.9 billion years ago. Normally, a single star at that distance would be impossible to see, but a phenomenon called gravitational lensing played its part. If a cluster of galaxies happen to be in the way, they can bend and increase the light of a more distant object, effectively becoming a cosmic magnifying glass. The speculation, Arendelle may be what's known as a pioneer star, one of the first stars to shine in the universe. A mystery, a marvel, practically from the dawn of time. Tim Orman, BBC News.